If you want to be able to print your report off where each group has its own page, like this group is on one page, this group is on another, and why would you want to do that? Maybe you've got a meeting and you want to be able to have each group on its own page so you can write notes down below while you're focusing on that one group. In any case, to go ahead and have these have their own pages, let's right click in a blank area and go to the design view. And what we're going to be doing is using the Force New Page feature based upon a section. So the book title header section, every time there's a change in the book title, each one will have its own page. And that includes the corresponding records. So before there's a change in the book title, let's do a new page. To be able to bring this up, you want to bring up the property sheet for the book title header section by double clicking on its bar. And there's the property sheet on the All tab and go down to Force New Page. It's right there. And now it's set to None, but when I click on the drop down arrow, we can choose Before Section. So it's going to break it before this section, meaning that every time there's a change in the book title, it'll get its own page with its corresponding records. And then when it has a new title, it'll go ahead before that section, as it were, that change, force a new page. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like. Right click on the tab, go to the print preview, and hey, there we go. Click on it to zoom out. There's one group that's on one page. Go to the second page, the second group, and so on. So each group, click on it to zoom in has its own page. More specifically, before a change in the book title, it'll force a new page. So on this page, we got basic medical billing, but before it has a change in it, because the next page would be a different title, it'll force a new page and put that different title on the next page. Believe and Grow Rich. Believe it. Let's go ahead and right click and go to the design view. And let's change this. Instead of before section, click on the drop down arrow and do after. Now quick, pause the video, think about what this means, that every time there's a change in the book title, after it, it's going to force a new page. So that means right after, immediately after the title, before the records, the book title is going to have its own page. Well, let me show you. Right click, go to the print preview, book title, no records, because the records are on another page because it comes after it. So that's on another page, but then the next book title has got its own page, and then its records on the second page the next book title on the next page and its records after that and so on. Let's right click, go back to the design view, and then last but not least, we've got the before and after. But if you have any questions on this, you can always, well, with the cursor flashing in that field, hit the F1 key on the keyboard, opens up the Microsoft Help site here, and then click on the link here, section, force new page property, and then scroll down, and there we go, before section, the current section is printed at the top of a new page, and then the section immediately following the current section is printed at the top of a new page. And then the current section for before and after is printed at the top of a new page. And the next section is printed at the top of a new page. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.